thought I'd make an update about my EOTech that I put on. So <clears throat> there it is. EOTech, I got uh, the Daniel Defense fixed iron sights. And I barely had to do anything to zero this. I, I started at 25 yards, went back to 50, and then back to 100. And it was just, <laughs> I had to move it a little bit, a tiny, minute bit. I just, I laid in the prone, I put it over my bag, and just shot it, and it was, it was barely enough. Sorry, my cat. But, um, this thing's amazing. I mean, granted, I have only shot it a few times so far, but I noticed the difference in the reticle on this than the old Hollow Sun. And, and I really like this one. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I wish it didn't die, but I was kind of glad it did because I wouldn't have bought this. And by the way, I talked my wife into buying this for me for my birthday. She's amazing. If you guys don't have a wife that would spend this much money on you, on something that she probably thought was stupid, you have the wrong wife. Anyway, it's, it's a different video. So, the optic, the, the, the optic, the reticle on this is just like, it's kind of like when you look at it, just through it and turn it on, it's kind of grainy looking. And I was like, oh, that's weird. But using it to shoot, it's it's good. And I get the whole concept. You're not you're not supposed to focus on the on the reticle. You're focusing on what you're looking at, kind of like when you hold your finger up. And you know, your my finger's blurry right now by my sight, but the computer screen's not. That's kind of the basis of it. It's so good for that. It's it's literally like you're seeing through it. And not that the hollow sun was bad. It was just very a uh, solid reticle. But man, this one's nice. And the, and the glass is way clearer than this. And this isn't, it's not bad, but you, you notice the difference. This is just like, it's like you're not looking through glass. And I know some people don't like the fixed iron sights. They're like, you might have a flip up. That's all for preference. I, I don't notice them. I'm, I, I like shooting with irons. I just I uh, I just I want an optic. I, I want I, it does it does make it faster for me. I can shoot fast with irons. I'm sure a lot of people can. Some people that only like irons. I like an optic, and I really like this one. It's just it's 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 nice. It's very nice. I think as far as I have a Palmetto State Armory, but I mean, got the one of the ones with the FN barrel. I have thousands of rounds through this thing. I don't baby it. I rarely clean it, but where I put the money is in the bolt carrier, the buffer tube and the weight. Uh, I upgraded the gas tube and the muzzle brake. Oh, I upgraded the charging handle. I got one of the, you know, cool ones. By the way, this is empty, no mag in it, but um, we, I need to get better light in here. I upgraded the, the charging handle. I, I And I just recently did this. I, I ran the standard one for a long time. I didn't have any issues with it. I just, it was on sale, but um, I, I personally, I mean, this working class preps. These are for working class. I, I can't afford a Daniel Defense rifle. I've shot one. My buddy has one. It shoots amazing. It shoots better than this. I'll admit that. It does. It shoots extremely smooth, and it's just right on. I changed the buffer tube on this. It still doesn't shoot as good, but it made a huge difference, like a massive difference. Difference. I changed the muzzle device, it made a little bit of a difference. I had the A2 on there before, and I actually put a brake on it. You know, it made a difference. 
it's loud as shit now. But it's it's it makes a difference. Little things make differences. If you can't afford a Daniel Defense or BCM or whatever other companies are out there, buy buy a Palmetto City. Buy I suggest I don't think the lower matters, but I suggest buying their higher end uppers, you know, with the barrels. At least from my experience, I've had no issues with this. And I've probably got I've had this. I want to say six years, and I've probably got four to five thousand rounds through it. I want to say that I don't clean it very often. I just don't. Um, I don't notice any excessive wear and tear on the bolt carrier. I don't notice any extra wear and tear inside it. You know, still works good. I put an put an optic on it. I'd probably have not counting the optic, probably fifteen hundred dollars into this. And it was four hundred dollars four fifty for the upper. Uh, on sale. They're like six or seven now, but in the lower is cheap. That's what you can afford. It's what you can afford. Build it up as you go. Like I said, I've had this rifle six years. It did not look like this when I first bought it. I did not have all this extra stuff on it when I first bought it. I've never had an issue with this. I've never had a feeding issue. Nothing. But also, people like us, we aren't going to war. So Palmetto State Armory will protect you. But shoot it and make sure it works well. Make sure you know how it works and how to shoot. It's the problem with people. They buy guns and they're like, oh, it's cheap. Like one of my buddies bought a cheap gun and he's like, it won't cycle. I don't know what's wrong with it. Will you take a look at it? Guess what I had to do? I lubed up the bolt carrier and it ran fine. This is what I'm talking about. Learn how to do it. I'm not an expert, but I know enough. Your bolt carrier needs to be lubed up. It, that's That was literally all that's wrong with the gun. And I figured it out right when I grabbed it. And I did this and I was like, Ooh. and then I brought it home, took it out, you know, cleaned it. It wasn't really dirty, but, and then uh, I, I just lubed it up, brought it out, shot it. It had a really awful muzzle break that blew everything back into place. But besides that, it worked fine. If you can't afford the expensive, make the cheap work. And again, six years, and I just got this optic on here. Get one of these to work with you. I think there's lots of people that haven't had the issue that I've had. I think what happened to this for me is not the typical thing that happens. I think it's a rare thing. So go with it. Have a good one.